way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been you know welcome we're super happy to have anybody who's ready to join us in the chat for our last one of 2018. Yeah. It was a little here and there, but I mean, we kept going. This is two years now, I think, for the whole... Yeah, roughing it out the rest of the year, but yeah, we got it done. Yep, and then we're going to have to take another break because I'll be on vacation until the 14th, I think. Okay. But after that, we'll be back, and I'm going to have set the uh, posts... For January, so even while I'm on vacation, we'll have new comic posts coming out. Okay, nice. even though we hadn't have some, haven't had some, I think since yeah. October, yeah. just because Photoshop basically has been down <laughs> since then. I do gotta say, man, I'm super excited for a lot of stuff coming up next year, and then there was a lot of good stuff this year, but <sighs> too much stuff coming up next year. Oh man, here's the thing: the stuff this year's still been hidden. Like, have you checked out all the recent like Aquaman and Bumblebee? Oh, and you stuff? got to see Bumblebee. I, I like Bumblebee. Uh, I liked Bumblebee. Yeah, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. That '80s feel. I think I that's felt, why I really liked yeah. it. Cause it really was that. I think the '80s made it like really retro, like and like nostalgic for me. Even though I'm not even, you know, we're not even really I just '80s. Like but the that's 80s. just what it's supposed. to Yeah, I think everybody really likes the '80s, even Anyways, if they don't admit it. Um, and then, but it was good. I liked it too. That I don't want to ruin too much. But I personally, it was one of my favorites since the first film. Yeah, the first, that first one I think will never like. I don't think everything will ever be as good though. I think it's because they did a really good job. So that it was good. it was the perfect combination of Transformers humor and then Shia LaBeouf humor. Yeah. Back when Shia LaBeouf was really funny still. Even Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he really had just moved on from that and there was nothing else he was doing that like Eagle Eye and other stuff, but he's really never done anything besides the Transformers films that make him pop. Even Stevens. Yeah. But And not to say he's not a good actor or any of that, I'm just saying that's what he's like really known for and really popped him out and then obviously the Transformers series picked up Mark Wahlberg and then and then John Cena and then John Cena <laughs> yeah that's kind of how weird. can this Transformers see him though <laughs> he, he, I don't know I didn't really like John Cena in the movie but I didn't feel like he was bad I felt like he was just another character like, I felt like wasn't... they didn't really need him though you know like they could have just went with they any other been actor anyone. and I wouldn't you know because yeah. I never didn't care for his his character or anything. I didn't really mind. I thought there was one or two parts where he did a decent job, but yeah, he didn't really add anything to it for me. For me, it was more like, hey, look, it's John Yeah, that's Cena. it. It's all it was. It's it really John was. Cena. It was like, a, it was celebrity click made up, definitely. I don't know. I really liked it, though, still. Like, John yeah, Cena. I liked it, though. I liked that it was uh, a girl this time. Oh, no, it was a girl last time, wasn't it? Um, No, it was Mark Wahlberg, right? Oh, yeah, it was Mark Wahlberg who had the And then his daughter or whatever or something. Or something. A little bit of his daughter, yeah, was in it. But, yeah, this is the first time that it was actually a, a, a woman to play, you know, like, as the kind of lead actor in this one. Yeah, there's definitely good for so that. I thought like it was the good. side character trying to be the, you know, just the... Yeah, just... The, the good-looking character. <laughs> yeah. They did good too, and then I thought they did a good job by limiting the total number of Transformers because they was getting crazy. Yeah, too many. Transformers. And they did some some scenes right with. A you bunch. know, honestly, I would have loved if they did the first thing like how they first started it off. <laughs> they need to make a movie like that. Happy just, New Year's, Leo. Happy New Year. Yeah, they need to make a movie where just they go to Cybertron and that's it. Like literally, I they need to make that movie. It's about the time now. It's gonna be all CGI, but it's the time. I don't care. They've yeah, done I, it. I, They've I done really it. Care. Like I said, we got the human intro, and now let's go. I want to see Cybertron. I want to see uh, Omicron and fucking. You know what I mean? And the world, just like that first opening scene of them fighting, was just like, ah, oh, that was. It was cool. really good. It's just better. Be I don't know. I thought that was cool too. So like the brutality in the in the movie was actually pretty high for like. Yeah. The, Granted, they didn't have blood, right? And I think that's how they got away with it because yeah. they did the pop. Because it was PG thirteen, wasn't yeah, it? I think this it was, one, yeah. yeah. But they did the, but they did that, and then they did the one uh, uh, Autobot that got really messed up. I don't want to give them away specifically. You know, these are kind of general. Yeah. But you know, all I gotta say is pop, and you know what I'm talking about. And it's, it's like, damn. All right, this is this is real. They made it like more high stakes. It's kind of emotional. <laughs> that's a little, yeah. And then. Uh, I did like uh, the old school look for everyone. Like Soundwave was cool. Oh yeah, with the f mm, oh yeah. And then everything Optimus about it really Prime is. looked cool in his eighty style. Did you see him pulling his tra the trailer? And yeah, that was great. I, I like, thought it was good. I like that there. Or there's a post out there, or an article that said that. See, you can make uh, their uh, old the old look, looks. Look and this is it's what good. I want to tell the X Men comic writers. Like, if you did it correctly, you can make it look fine. You're just like you guys are copping out and being lazy and not hiring a good. Mm, costume designer to go and design this shit 
Because realistically, the old X Men costumes worked. They were visually appealing in the comics. Not the original originals. You have to alter a little bit, obviously. But you know, you pick a '90s X Men costume theme and tell me it wouldn't work on screen. Yeah, they've they've proved yeah. like you know you you look at Superman and Wonder Woman. Uh, even even though I might not like all of what DZ does, they still look like Superman and Wonder Woman in the costumes. Mm-hmm. They're good. Same with the uh, Aquaman. I thought when he did his. Recently, yeah, I need to go see that still. Yeah, you should that check it out. It's actually worth see seeing. Mary Poppins. I want to see that too. I'll go see it. I'm gonna go see it. Go see it. Yeah, Aquaman was good. I'd say it's probably about as good as Wonder Woman. So yeah, that's what I was hearing. I was uh talked to someone at the comic store. He said the same thing. He's like, yeah, it was really good. I don't see it peaking a million or a billion. Maybe in the because of the Chinese market and they really like Jason Momoa. I guess I don't know. It was good. But Asians like. Pacific Islanders? Is, he even, is that what he is? I don't even know what he is. He, he like is an a Pacific Islander, an Islander but Some I don't kind. know if that has anything to do with it or if it's just because it's Aquaman. or I have no idea. But whatever reason, I don't think it was so much better than Wonder Woman or that it maybe necessarily deserves a billion dollars. Not saying it doesn't either. But maybe it's because it was directed by James Wan. He thinks it's going to hit the billion dollar club. It's probably going to. And he thought of it yeah, as the, the DC's best to date probably. Would you say? Better than Wonder Woman? I mean, if he said DC's best, he didn't even say DCEU's best. It's closing in on five hundred million. Oh yeah, I mean, it's doing really good sales. That's for sure. It's but it's one of the similar things for like Avatar. Like I really liked Avatar, the movie. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it's one of the best movies ever made. It was a really good movie. That was good. I liked it. I liked that, but I don't. It just sold really well, and I was yeah, like, yeah, I don't know what it was that maybe that it was made the marketing. that sale or marketing. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I'm not sure, but what I do know is like I didn't feel like it was so much better than any of the other nine things below it on the top. I guess it was grossing good movies. because it was just like this modern. I don't, they kind of like he tried to involve like you know how colonization oh i mean that that was that was was super part of it but there's tons of movies that had it granted he mixed it with his high sci-fi and and there was the whole 3d technology thing that too i think was also was the the but yeah the the story no not dcu's best dark knight is dc's best okay okay i wanted to make sure leo (laughs) you put you put (laughs) dc's best and that's a big line to cross for that that's a big line to cross you guys like do you think dark knight's their best thing ever um as far as DC's like movies, probably I don't know. I, I didn't like, like the, the yeah, dark. That's the one with Joker, right? Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Leto's one. Every other one, like Bane's okay, and the original I one didn't I like. Like Bane, I hate I like Tom that Hardy. Movie. I like Tom Hardy. I didn't I like that they didn't do the original Bane, but I, I don't think they could. I didn't even know it was Tom Hardy until somebody told me. I was like, oh shit, that is Tom I Hardy. Knew, I knew it was Tom Hardy because he did that same shit he does in every movie where you're not sure what kind of. Uh, I didn't. What, I don't know. I just didn't like like the, the character they kind of gave to Bane. Where he was, he was just a little like, different than he was in yeah, the, in the comics. That's what threw me off. I think I was. Oh, I was expecting this like brutish man to just come and break Batman's back. Yeah, I mean, in the comics, it wasn't this whole calculated. It was like, no, he's manimal, man. He yeah, came in. He, he said, calculated. "Fuck you, Batman!" Blow. He was very calculated in this movie, and I didn't like that about my Bane. But I was like, whatever. I didn't the like thing that is, word. it was his take, and it was the same thing for me on uh, who was the character that they picked that he used. Scarecrow was decent, but he was in that movie. No, 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 in the first one? one. But he was in the movie too. The first one. Yeah, I remember. Oh, that's why I haven't seen. He's Batman. like spreading. That's Batman Begins. Are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, I haven't seen Batman Begins. In a really? Very yeah. Oh, long I was time. Saying, a very long, long time. time. Okay. Live DC live action though. Yeah, Leo. I, I I agree. I really liked Aquaman. There were certain things about it that mess it up for me. What? But I think maybe if I'd have watched it in 3D, maybe that would have been different. Oh my god, 3D. That would have been so much. The, I all right, so the thing is, it has so much, so much, so much, so much CGI, and a lot of it's Was really it? good. I mean, but but some of it's unnecessary and distracting oh, from the story like there's this one scene where they're like or like every scene in fucking atlan is and don't get me wrong i understand Atlan's the shining beacon of you know or atlantis is the shining beacon of fucking technology underwater and but it's all shiny and it is th- them and all cgi that's it it's literally them their suits are cgi the things are cgi well a little cgi mix that's pretty much my only I mean, there were some story things and some, like, minor details. So, like, all right, one, I, I don't know if Leo would have seen this one. And this is, like, like I said, this has nothing to do with the overall enjoyability of the movie at all. This is, like, a tiny story, like, fuck up. But they go into something about uh, lighting. 
or like ha- or like seeing, and then later they have something that just like totally f- no reason to have it if what they said earlier was mm. true. And it was just like logically made no sense. I don't want to really ruin it because it it's kind of common knowledge stuff I think for Aquaman fans, but it's also something people wouldn't really think about all the time. And it's such as something I don't want to fucking take away from the movie. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to see it this week. That's good. It's definitely worth it. Uh and definitely worth seeing like there's so much CGI it's definitely worth seeing in theaters, like or Yeah, I was gonna go see that movie in IMAX. I always like I did to see those well. movies in IMAX. We did that one in IMAX. We did Bumblebee regular and IMAX, then did that one in IMAX. And then I did the IMAX. <laughs> I, we were we were gonna but I'm No, I did that Prime. Way. Which is kinda like IMAX but it's still pretty nice sounds, uh I like sounds. I think that's really why I like IMAX. Hey, what's up, Isaiah? But but realistically, the it was good. I don't know uh, about the best movie of the year. I mean, what, who, Malcolm having the best movie of the year? No, okay. no, no. Well, no. Then, let's do that now since we're yeah, we're we're on to, movies. Since we we're might as well. to the end of the year, what was your thinking? Dude, it's really tough because what all came out this year? Okay, so we had Aquaman. Okay, Mary Poppins. We had Bumblebee. We had Halloween. We had Venom. We had Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Oh, you know, I sh- I kind of want to say that was be my top one, but let's keep. It's going really down good. I, I gotta keep going because there's still Infinity Wars. There's still <sighs> that was that was that it was, was here. And then, uh, God, was it Han Solo? Han Solo. I feel like I'm forgetting some here. I'm sure we are. Um, what else did DC come out with besides Aquaman? Know, 2018 movie releases. Oh, uh, Shape of Water. Which was pretty on my almost top list right there. I know Leo doesn't like Shape of Water. <laughs> he he too uh, much too much fish too much fishness <laughs> yeah. for you. Fantastic Beast Two Black Panther came out uh, two thousand eighteen February. Uh, That's Deadpool, right, Black Panther did come Deadpool out. Deadpool Two. That's right, Deadpool Two. Uh, Iron Man and the Wasp. I don't think I went. I didn't get to see it, but li- Bohemian Rhapsody. I still yeah, need to go watch. I, see that one, I, but, uh, I couldn't. I take... liked Ant Man and the Wasp. It was I very really enjoyable. actually did. Uh, there was the Mission Predator. In, that's right. That Mission Impossible out. Fallout, which isn't on my list. Predator. I actually haven't seen, but my dad said really? he kind of liked it. I liked it. There's a lot of hate on it, but I. Liked I think it. a lot of people hated on it because it had people who were comedians in it, and they did some funny parts. Which but it's fine with me. Yeah, because that's it was, everyone it was treats like comedy action, like it's a fucking virus. Yeah, and it's it was part of every movie for me. Really, it wasn't like a it's supposed to be a horror movie. This is not 2018. Why is this listed as 2018? Holmes. And Some Watson. of those aren't. Yeah, actually, that did come out this year. Did it really? Yeah. I thought that was like coming out. No, it already released. No wonder people hated on it already. I thought they were yeah, like there was early already reviews on it. On it though, okay, yeah. well that's definitely not on those. All right, but we got a better idea of what. Uh, oh, Christopher Robin. Yeah. Which I enjoyed. I heard a lot nun. of people didn't enjoy the Nun, which I enjoyed as well. We'll, we'll go back through that one. Oh, let's see. Best movie this year: Eighth Grade. Forgot oh, I wanted to see that December one. And I hated it. I don't think I saw it either. That's the um, yeah. It's about a little girl who does a uh, pot not podcast, but like she's she does YouTube videos and she it's like about the day in the life about the YouTube creator oh. and everything. Oh, that sounds interesting. An eighth grade. I, and unlikely. actually, the person who helped direct it was a actual YouTube creator himself. Oh, that's cool. from the beginning, the very start of it. That's nice to have like some real experience. So yeah, I wanted to check that out too. That and I wanted to check out Jonah Hill's movie still. The 90s. yeah, I want to see that one too. But I've, I my heard problem lots is of good things yeah, about it. it the, it's this. That's one of the reasons. The same reason I haven't checked out Bandersnatch or Bird Box yet is when everyone blows up about something, I get way hyped up, and then I'm like, no, they don't, don't disappoint like me. The the fun thing one is about Bandersnatch is I get to choose my own ending, so. It's pretty hard to disappoint when you got like five or six endings or whatever. Not endings, not including shit. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Bo Burnham was the guy. Bo who Burnham, was... yeah, that's that's is good. Actually, isn't he originally a comedian too or something? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I don't know what he's doing now. Bo Burnham does a lot of stuff. I feel like I feel like I've seen his name all over the place. Um, he says he loved Bandersnatch, which I wanted to watch too. I was from, gonna check uh, it out, but I, I love the Black team, Mirror series. So I've always loved them, but. <laughs> Yeah, this one was different though. I heard there was one it's of those a choose uh, your choose, own. which I kind of don't want to do. I, I do, just but it's just the movie. I, I'm but fine I'm lazy, with it. That's why. Yeah, I'm fine with it because I'm always. I mean, I'm always watching sub anime, which is basically like if you got to do that, it's the same shit. Yeah, you, you know, until you get used yeah. to it. So but, I'll have to check that out, Bandersnatch. Yeah, I want to check, check out that Bird out Box. and Bird Box too. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff I still Bird have to Box check out. I gotta I catch up on. Like, it wasn't. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it was all the hype it was, but it was very enjoyable, though. So, it was a good movie, yeah, it was right? Very that's, good. And that's all I want people to tell me is, like, 
It's a good movie. Don't say, it was the best movie I've ever seen of this yeah, year in my life. I never tell, I, like, the only time I've said that was recently was about Spider-Man, and that's because I truly believe, I truly believe that, that that was my favorite that, Spider-Man that has come out, that live action or otherwise. The best thing ever I've seen I in just my love life. it. I really do. I only just want to say that that the was only... probably my top movie for this whole year. Was even, <sighs> it's like, it's, I know hard for Infinity Gauntlet, it is. but, like, honestly, I just love the characters, I love the story of what they did. You know, and it's weird for me because a lot of people wouldn't pick it, but I really like Black Panther. I like Black Panther too. That was very I, good. There as was well. a lot of like themes and stuff in there that not just the colonization and stuff, but like yeah. the father. Like I thought there was a lot of like people well, are always like, oh, the Marvel movies are all comedy and no substance, and there's no. It's like come on, there's every single Marvel movie has at its core is built around like a message. Yeah, I heard Ryan Coogler had a lot of uh, talking with uh, oh, oh. what's his name, the guy who's, who did who's doing Black Panther now. Uh, to, I can't even pronounce. So his he name. Did, yeah, I don't know. He's uh yeah he guys he uh, had a lot to say about the movie and everything with him, so he kind of took some ideas from him for it. So yeah, they do. I mean, they do a lot. I I appreciate like people don't appreciate the fact that people they're always like oh more Marvel's formula this. But they keep pumping out million dollar movies in the same franchise universe. They've got by far, it's not even close now, not even with Indiana Jones or the Planet of the Apes. None of them are even close to the number of integrated series yeah. movies that Marvel has. They've got to have like 20 to 30 by now. And they're the ones that started this whole shared universe. Well, at least type of thing. the comic book. I mean, you've had no, James mean, Bond yeah. and you've had Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, that's true. But even if but you like take, to this extent, though, you know. Right, what like I, mean? I said, this is a universe. This is more than 10 films. The only thing that's even close is stuff like Jason and Freddy, and they don't build a universe. Yeah, they just, just kind of plot story, along, yeah. right? Whereas this is a narrative. This is a universe. Everything they've been doing for 10 years led up to Infinity Wars. Yeah, Every movie had a tie-in, basically, on its way. And no That's one, what makes something different yeah, about pe- this. People that... really don't appreciate that as far as, like, the overall art form of making something. Like, you know how difficult that is to, like... You know, how many movies could have gotten axed? Yep. In the, in, or, and did get, you know, Gambit's been on the burn, you know, whatever. And granted, that's Fox. And humans went to a TV series. Yeah, there's, it's it's not like it's been the smoothest ride, I'm sure. But it's like, I feel like they did a really good job on that. And like, Black Panther for me is one of those ones, like, everyone was making fun of it. It's like, ah, oh, they don't, it doesn't deserve an Oscar. And I was like, I don't know. I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was good. I loved it. it I was... Uh, and like it's like I said, it's weird for me because I didn't think about it until now that I'm thinking back on like my favorite movies of the year. But like, as a watcher, maybe not even as a critic, but just personally, that's my favorite one because I feel like I resonated with a lot of the messages in the movie and like how it was like moving about and like the messages it mm-hmm. told. Because it wasn't like I like movies where it's like the villain's not necessarily clearly wrong. Yeah, where he kind of had his own, he had his reasoning. For right, or even doing. maybe just a valid point and a bad execution, right? Yeah. Good intentions, bad, yeah. which is the whole Thanos mix-up. I'm not going to lie, I like Thanos, and I, that's why Infinity War doesn't take anything for me, because I like Thanos as that. Just a badass motherfucker, don't He's basic, me. yeah, but more, more along the sides of, like, what Thanos does, he does because he wants everything to be destroyed and all life to you know what i mean yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah, do that's it. i mean yeah like they say he's bad motherfucker he's, he's, he, he is, <laughs> is he, he's basically a I, wanted different, that, I wanted my thanos kind of be like i that did too. now yeah. and i like the version they did it made more sense in their universe and it's it was a good movie yeah it's still on my top five for the year at the very least i just think but. it was i would have loved a more ruthless tyrant kind of thanos yes too. thanos thanos is Snap your neck, destroy your planet, wipe out your civilization, then go have lunch. Yeah, go like, have lunch. <laughs> yeah, like literally, like that's him. It was like, did you take pictures? Who took pictures? <laughs> yeah, I remember crushing that guy's head. <laughs> selfie. <laughs> 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 like, that's that's not the selfie part, but that's Thanos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, much, yeah, that exactly was kind of the one. But this one was more of like bent on a mission and plan. Yeah, just... and it made him more relatable and less. It made the movie less easy to hate him. Like he was still very hateable, yeah, but yeah. it it made it less ho- easy. And I understand why they do that for a lot of villains to make there be like drama and like tension. But I also just love the classic. And I always think of the Joker as this villain, even though there's other archetypes before him, obviously. But he's for me the comic version of that is the archetype of no reason or rhyme. He just does. Uh, I agree on the Thanos too. Yeah. 
But yeah, he just does what he wants. He, he to fuck with Batman. No rhyme, no reason. Yeah. Just to fuck with Batman. Because he can. Because he feels like it. And that he knows that Batman will uh, will keep fucking with him and playing mm-hmm. with him. Playing, yep. playing the game. Said it's a game that that'll never going. end. <laughs> it's like, I just waited for that. It's always the Punisher comes to the Gotham one. It's like, <laughs> we end this game now. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> one second, he's like, I took care of all your problems in one day. <laughs> Who would have thought I could have just murdered all you now? But I don't know. Then there's, uh, so the movies. All right, so you, that's your first. Do we? How far do we want to go? One, three. I say three. So I probably. So for me, I could probably be Spider Verse. Then yeah, I'd have to say Infinity Gauntlet. And then. <sighs> so much good movies. That I came there were so many good movies. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have to. I'd probably go about the same with Spider Verse. Except for obviously having Black Panther or Spider Man. I just love that they like Infinity. involved even like that comic kind of animation. Into it's really it, good into, stuff. Like, that it, I heard that they took like a long time to even get the animation right. Like, style, I'm sure. I mean, it. and even then, it looked like they were. It was very experimental. You know what I mean? It felt yeah, like it's it was different. I've never seen something like that before. Definitely, and it, like I said, it's by far one of my favorite animated comic book. It might be. I, it's like I said, hard for me, right? Because there's so many good classic animated films from both DC, well, mostly DC, but some from Marvel. And then you've got like the original Death of Superman films or comic stuff. There's all kinds of crap they did. But at the same time, I like Spider Verse is. It's not just an animated film. It's like a piece of art, man. Yeah. It really is like this this tribute to everything Spider Man, and then. Oh man, the Stan Lee cut in there was real Guy, um, deep. I, I cried a little bit. I, I did. did. I was I, I was bit. real sad. I was like, "You sons of bitch!" That's what I was yelling at you sons of bitches. How dare they're like three children behind me crying? I'm like, "How dare you do this, you monsters! <laughs> you monsters! You fucking <laughs> monsters!" And it's like they didn't plan that shit. You know what I mean? But I felt it. And then they had the quote at the end. Yeah, that was uh, the and worst, I've never, bro. I've never that seen that fucking quote. I've seen all kinds of quotes from Stan, but I've never seen that one until that movie. I was like, that's a really fucking good quote. I think that's my favorite quote I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Flips the whole fucking row in front of me. I'm like, you pieces of shit. How dare you make me feel emotions. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was that was a little much right there. I, oh, dude. I felt a little sad right there. I was, especially one. just because he's like... It's the right size, but it always fits. It's like, ah, you, just, you And then when he just said that one scene, he's like, we're going to miss him. I'm like, no! no! He, just, he just said that right now? You really just said that? I was like, no. It was like, it's too raw. They didn't know They didn't know it would go down. They There was a high probability, but they didn't know. It's like, I know you were talking about Spider-Man, but I was like, I really took it like uh, something else. That... I took it as somebody else. That was exactly <laughs> what it was, too, bro. Like, that, that that really did signify. And that really, the timing of that is insane, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, But it, it really does drive home that point more of, like, the death. And you really even saw, like, you felt that. It was, it was like the death of Superman. It was like everybody, even maybe more so now than Superman... Maybe what Superman, like, Superman used to be, like, everybody knows Spider-Man worldwide. Yeah. Every country, every, like, there was the whole, uh, Kevin Smith did the breakdown on Spider-Man throughout media, throughout history, you know, to the present day, and he was, like, kind of covering every, all of them and doing little breakdowns and explanations, and it's like, you know, they had a Turkish Spider-Man who was a villain for a while, they had a Japanese Spider-Man series mm-hmm. at the same time. I remember seeing that one. He's even in the Spider-Verse, uh, what? series. Yeah, I do remember that giant one. giant robot. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> the was... The Leopard, Pardon oh, or something, I can't remember. I look. Li- oh, dude, the after credit scene. No, oh, you, yeah, no, that you, was you, cool. you, stop pointing, you, no, you're pointing. That was the best, I love <laughs> Stop that. jumping up that, which one, shoot, <laughs> get Spider-Man, get it. <laughs> that that shit, perfect. that was the greatest way, because you had that, there was so much, and that was They the had thing. to do that meme, like, they were like, fuck, we gotta put that meme Dude, I can't movie. believe they after credited it, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe they did that, but it was so good. Because I was expecting something, like, serious to happen. Yeah, like. And then he it, goes to this other world, he's like, oh, I was like, oh, are you serious? They really did the Spider-Man at the death scene. Yep. And I was like, oh my gosh. That was so it was they 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 took chances and they were rewarded. Helps, I did like man. it though. They Everything was that. awesome about it. I loved it. Everything was Spider awesome. Ham. You saw Lego Lego movie two is coming out next year too. Yeah, it's gonna be. But oh. yeah, Spider Ham was good. I think I uh, like Nicholas Cage. Nick's Cage. Cage. Yeah, like he him. really. I don't know what this is, 
but it fills me with confusion. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> like those are all cool. I like that. They really did a good awesome. job. They, every they did Spider Gwen in pretty good too. Um, Miles was really good. Uh, there was uh, there's little stuff. Uh, the biggest thing that my my one cousin cannot let go of is brick pin. Brick pin. Brick pin. King King Square. He's, he's, he's a fucking oh, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, looks yeah, yeah. like a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what we call him. He's oh, like, it's yeah, square like, pin. Brick pin. Oh, you're talking about king pin. Yep. Yeah, my, my, da- my dad, when they seen it too, he's like, he took up the whole fucking square. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? It's just his hand. I'm like, damn, king pin, you bitch. It's like, you been eating, bro. <laughs> Damn, and it was so literally, bro. His whole body took up the whole screen, oh and it was God. just his head right yes, there. Yes, dude, it's this little fucking thing. It was. I loved so it though. Fun. I it thought was, that was awesome. It was I loved funny, that they went but that he, direction. They did a lot. They did a good job in incorporating the Ultimate Universe stuff. Yeah, and then also changing it up the slightly. Goblin, huh? With them being kind of like more of a monster. Than... The Goblin monster. The I don't remember if they had a female Doc Ock. Or if there was a version of a I don't female Doc Ock, I, that, that I do know the cool Scorpion. Of that. Yeah, the Scorpion it. was and Predator versions. I think were spot on, if I remember correctly. But oh, you mean Prowler? Prowler, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, I like Prowler. I like to. I like that they made his uncle the. Well, the it's Prowler. that's canon. So, yeah, a little bit you know, of that. That was interesting because I was like, like, someone even asked, like, I think it was my one cousin. He was like, because he was trying to like, I think he was. Cause he's such a critic. He was looking for something. Ultimate Universe, right? He's the Prowler. Yeah, that's where. It's in, okay. Yeah, that's where it's he's Hobie in. Brown's the, the original, or you know, the main. Universe. Yeah, I know. That's what messes with me. I was like, well, in the original, it's Toby Brown, he's only a villain for like a week. I mean. Yeah, and then he becomes good, and then. Yeah, and then he becomes Spider Man for a while. And he dies now, and the he yeah, just he died a while back one. on the comics. Yeah, wasn't that during the? Spider uh, Yeah. Because he was a clone. <laughs> Goddamn clone shit, bro. They've been doing way like they did not. They gotta stop going back to the clone shit. <laughs> Leo's like I loved Brick Pin. <laughs> I love agreed on. That. I loved, I liked it. I don't know. I just I thought it was cool. I guess like that was just his one his one play. I thought Brick Pin was just a little excessive. I don't know. It was funny though. It was comic just, book yeah. like, so I was okay with it. And that's really where a lot of that got away, like the thought bubbles, the sounds. Those and stuff. Awesome too. It was cool integration. It was really. Well thought out, everyone. And then the one thing that I talked about also with my cousin was the physics. The physics and the animation are some of the best I've ever seen. Like, and I say that weirdly because obviously they're comics, but like, that makes what makes it even more impressive to have them have some interesting physics. So like, one of the best scenes that reminds me is remember when he ra- he's wrapping him up in the chair and pulling him towards him. Mm-hmm. It's such a real feeling of the movement of the webbing, the movement of his hands, and the movement of him coming towards him. Is like. Really, in animation, you usually get some very static kind of movements, and mm-hmm. like, and unless you're doing Japanese anime or something, but you know, American animation is very static, very heavy, blocky movements, you know, with some exceptions and very few. <sighs> yeah, so that was, good the top, that was my top movie. Top movie of the year, Spider Verse. Very good. Like I said, I that that animation movie. That's the dude. I wish it was. It was a good long movie too. I thought it was gonna be a short, like if, hour and a half. I, if, I think it was. It didn't than that, feel though. very long. It was only like maybe an hour and fifty, or maybe two two oh five. It's two like hours. two hours like, and five that's minutes a actually. Good long for, it is, but for it didn't animation. feel very long. You know what I mean? It didn't feel like it drug on. It had a good pacing, even oh, though yeah. you spent a good amount of time getting to the story. You know what I mean? A lot of it's that setup. Probably a good twenty minutes, I'd say, mm-hmm. was a good setup for the, which is fine. And, the film but i thought it was really good i I, that one is probably critically one of my highest rated films just because it's in its own genre and art form it is so good on every level voice acting execution of animation the soundtrack sound effects were sometimes up and down but i mean i'm pretty picky (coughs) sound engineer for that and realistically comic book sound is whatever you want it to mm-hmm. be so i don't know besides that we had that um i think we already did kind of games earlier this year and then earlier and there hadn't really been any changes so it was basically god of war followed by red dead followed by Sp- or spot followed by either red dead or spider-man in some cases mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and then i guess we should do comic books Maybe good releases or top uh, mentions or something it's really hard to rate all comic books obviously yeah that's hard um 
It just started Saga, so Saga I heard is is doing pretty good. They just ended, yeah. not ended, but they're taking a break for right. a few months and they're coming back, which is fine. Um, uh, comic books, I don't know. There's, there, I mean, Immortal Hulk is pretty good. I really did. One of my favorite ones. I think right that now. one is because there aren't that many horror ones out there in that classic vein of not having to rely on. Like I said, the only one I think of besides the Mortal Hulk that's really lying in that vein of like originalish horror was the other one you told me about. Uh, Road to Hell, Doorway. Oh, Walk to Through Hell. Walk Through Hell. Yeah, I bet, yeah, I was started to finally catch up with that series, and it's, yeah, there's a lot of um, Garth is very um, like his writing's weird, not weird, but like he does a, like I guess it's I, a little it's a lot dis- of back and forth and a lot of disorienting a little yeah, bit yeah it's a little disturbing a little, <laughs> not like disturbing like weird but like upsetting like unsettling cause you're yeah. always going from like right here and then there's like something going on and then you're back in like some fucking memory and you're like alright well we're at the force now okay and then blam now we're back in the warehouse again yep like, everyone's oh, shit, dead again what the hell's going on here like, where are we and why why, why just this? tell them what the hell you want to tell them already <laughs> say what it is we already know uh, you're now, I, it's bitch. good it is good though i i'm enjoying it i'm just saying that he writes very i guess just uh the, i guess that's the way he's trying to go for it, though he is i think he's drawing just trying it out to set, he's just much. trying to set you up i guess for the end to right which really blow the, your which mind. is really interesting because the original parts were so good that without a setup you know what i mean the original kind of like oh the swat team and then meeting the dude who's just still click click like that, that was good and that was good and, and it wasn't issue. really any setup you know what i mean that was just really good non-set and it was it was set up for where your scenery was or whatever yeah. but it was just good horror with not much context or setup leading into it, which I like. I like. Who is it? Uh, the if I'm sure we've talked about it. Uh, Junji Ito, from no. uh, manga. He's uh-huh. very much similar. Like he does not need a long, winding setup or thing. He just has the ability to understand what's eerie and unsettling for people and bring it to life on the page and in through story. Kind of like, I'm trying to think of specific, specifically which one. Uh, that I that I was watching, but the one that I really like is the. It's not Naruto. It's like, actually Uzumaki, which is means spiral, but it's his like one of his horror serializations, and it's all about just circles and like. They draw evil circles, spirals. It's you really check weird. out if you like stuff like that. You should check out. This is a good book of the year too. That's horror. Check out Gideon Falls. I think I did check out by Gideon Jeff Falls. Lemire. It's similar. Junji's. Like it's I said, crazy, my problem with those is their setup time. They they move very. Gideon's move faster though than at least the other ones did. But I mean, that's the one where it's like the black barn. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've been reading that one then, yeah. I, I I'm like a little it. behind. I'm only on like. Two or. three. Two? Oh, it gets so good after two. Oh, yeah. You're just like, oh, sh- the hell's going on Because one here? and two are like set up, which yeah. is good. It's but, but it's very much like this kind of disorienting like world of like, okay, this is Gideon Falls. And now what? And it's good, but that's what, where I like him. And, I, and it's, like I said, I like Junji because he does it in like two or three pages most of the time. Mm. When the, or his short stories, he does it like that. It'll be some story of a ghost and then their face is upside I don't know you know it's, <laughs> but he's good at figuring out the ones that just bother you or like thing and, and that Gideon Falls and the walk through hell I think are very much the same thing they kind of mess with those things that mentally you know it's not the basic horror of like oh you chop off someone's head and blood spurts out no it's like thought horror mm-hmm yeah, like uh, yeah just the guy like I said with him just shooting his head yeah like just click just, like they just hear click 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 Click, click. Fuck, you know, it's like, what the f- is going on? And then you, do, then you know, eventually, like, you get closer and you know, and they're still clueless, and you're like, ah, oh, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> this is, there's no way. And he's like, ah. And that's fucking, it's just, you know what I mean? It's not something you're. And then obviously they reveal the reason, and it's even more like psychological tension, but it's just like eerie on a very basic level. And how they're just trying to rationalize it. And yeah, then... it's like, oh, well, he's just. It's, Nerves after you're dead, like, um, but, and, and then, then, then she kind of tries to come back, but then he's like, 
But you just said that we can't rationalize this, and you're trying to rationalize this. Now. Like, shut up! <laughs> they're just like it's I, so they're going fucked. back and forth with it. That which was the back and forth. But like I said, I think they just went to one too many chapters with that. There's a whole like chapter where they're like, "We're in hell now." It's like, yeah, we knew last chapter you're in hell. What about it? Like, what about it? <laughs> really? Come on, damn it! Tell me. We've known we're what the, the <sighs> series is called. Walk through hell. Come on. But no, you know what I mean. like, And that's why I like Gideon is it's not very revealing with the title. Yeah, you're like, still kind of like in the dark, like what the fuck's going on? Yeah, right? it's, it really is. And even when you do get to the thing, no, it still doesn't make all the sense. There's this evil entity called it. Oh, you don't know Yeah, that, it's not there yet. Far. I uh, just know, I know there's an it. I just don't know what they're called or any of this. There was another one like that that reminds me of that, though, that it's, it was in manga somewhere. And I can't remember, but man, it's a really good one. It's a... Mm, like that where it's this evil entity it's the cops it's it's a good lead in where it's like wait is it the evil in your mind or the you know are you crazy what was another one there was reading that there was a lot of good comics this year honestly that it's hard for me to remember and pick out ones mm -hmm. too many those do stand out though i do remember gideon what was the other one uh was it east to west that's what you were saying, yeah. I really enjoy it. I think it out, yeah. I think it's uh, just because of the setting, though. It's really got an interesting setup. And the execution that follows after that is just individualized characters that they've worked hard on. The art's pretty You should check out decent. Burnouts. Did I do Burnouts? Weed smoking potheads nope, who, have oh. to, who have to smoke weed in order to see the aliens. To... No, they stole my idea. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I should have had someone write it. Well, I wrote it, but I had to should have had someone draw it. You had to smoke weed to see the. the it was, yeah, mine's was like monsters, but it's the same concept. Do they run the government? And it's like, do they run the government? <laughs> Venom's been pretty good too, as well. I really did like a lot of the Venom stuff. I felt like there was just too much though. They spent so much time. They went from Venom, then Venom first host, then the. Venomverse was even earlier, and then you had... I liked Venom first, also. They were really good, but there nice, was like, so little... much Venom. It was the same problem. It, it's my, my only complaint. They do too much now. Yeah. There's too much involvement with everyone in every series, like, that I can't even keep track of most characters between all the series. Yeah. Like, trying to keep track. I want I two see. crossovers a year. Big crossovers. Like, two little events six months apart. You got building time well, to climaxes. You don't got that because no. now they literally had Spider Getting Spider oh, happening while they had Infinity Wars also happening. I while know. they had this also mini event with the the Defenders happening. Oh, with I Doctor remember. Strange, yeah. Silver Surfer, Hulk, oh. and that just ended now. Yep. And then they now they're just having their don't new. Don't forget. Don't forget event. the return of Wolverine was nestled in between all that for the last six months. Yes, and then they're also now doing another event. Because they're going back to the Age of Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, I remember because that. Because they Uncanny, reset, yeah. If you read the, 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 oh, yeah, don't forget X-Men Disassembled, which has been put in the middle of all this as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's I told you, they oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. too Execution. much shit. Yes, Execution. there's just too much shit, dude. I can't, I can't. And after even... they said, after they said... They were going to tone it back. They said they were going to stop doing six fucking comics for every title. And instead, we have X Men Red, Blue, Gold, Black, fucking Orange. I actually like X Men Black. Black was pretty good because it, it's all the villains. Yeah, and they just ended all the gold, red, and black. Now they're gonna. I know. Just do... I'm just. I was so <clears throat> done with it. They literally said they weren't gonna do that. Then they did that, and then you still had Uncanny X Men, and which is a week, uh, a week uh, comic. Well, yep. For twelve weeks. Yep. And then you had. Oh, you had Uncanny, you had... And now they have new Infinity, new Infinity Watch that's yeah, coming out for... I, like, I just, it's so much, dude, I can't... I I was, like, I took two or three weeks off because I just couldn't anymore. I'm like, between Marvel and DC, DC is doing stupid shit like this, too. And it's not as bad, but the problem is their stories suck. Like, a lot of them suck. It, like, they started off good, and I feel like they've either been handing off the writers or they've just been getting lazy... But, like, all right, they had this whole really good part they could have done with Rogel Czar, which was a Superman yeah, enemy that they kind of that retconned. From... It was supposed to be Bendis' big entry, and it's just drug its feet for fucking six comments in the fucking Phantom Zone, and it's still going, and it's like, nothing's happened. 
there's been no serious consequences or like I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. See it's, if he does any better. It's, it's tough sometimes too because like, how do you make changes right to big universe mm-hmm. stuff without like getting con- consequences? And then even then, they'll just bring them back in a year if you kill somebody. You know what I mean? No one stays dead anymore. Even the people who are, who aren't known for that stuff, like the Punisher, died and came back. You know, which is like, <sighs> it's rough. I think we're getting about that time, yeah. right? That's all right. I think uh, we'll uh, we'll end off this one and we'll do a couple 10, 15 minutes of our artist oh, yeah. highlights. Maybe do a trailer or something on the way out. But uh, that's the end of our conversation. Yeah. And then we'll come back. Uh, when you come back? Uh, I'll be back the 14th. Okay. So... so in another, what, like two, three weeks? Yeah, we're, we're going to be doing So today is... Oh, sorry. Today is the f- 31st Monday. We'll be back either the 20th or sometime during that week of the 20th. Okay. The very latest. Nice. So we are able to have a couple weeks off, but at the very least, we got this one done. And as we said, we'll have those pictures coming. That's basically what I'm going to do right after this, <laughs> which is fine. It's been needing to do it. Just glad I got the program. Shout out to Krita, free editing. And then, yay. Yeah. Free Hopefully. Editing. Hey, man. It's worth it <laughs> but yeah thanks for everyone who yeah. came through thanks and hopefully and happy new year yep we'll see you in the new year